and today we are going to be taking a look at the differences the key differences between uh, a lot of the ryzen cpus that fall under the same territory so if you are actually new to gaming i'm pretty sure you are mixed up so basically let's just discuss first the weakest one of them all the ryzen 5 8500g and what g stands for it stands for a powerful integrated gpu so basically this is a cpu and a gpu in one chip so it's actually used for mini PCs, it's used for gaming laptops, but it's not the most usable, you know, uh, choice if you are a budget gamer that wants to build a really good 1080p or 1440p uh, gaming PC. But when you discuss the CPU power horse itself, it's not fast at all, but you're paying way too premium for it. You're paying $180 for that integrated GPU. So basically the Ryzen 5 8500G is not a playable uh, or not a, a good choice for gaming unless you want to get a gaming PC based on the AM5 platform that doesn't need a discrete graphics card. And in this case, I feel like there are actually other options that are better and you'd have to pay more premium, but it's actually worth every penny. So this is the lowest end and it's not worth it at all. Which brings us to the second CPU, the Ryzen 5 8400F. And this F stands for actually a CPU that doesn't have an integrated GPU. Now, all the CPUs mentioned are six cores, 12 threaded CPU. So basically what this turns it out from the other CPUs, it's only a CPU that has well packaging and it has an included uh, CPU fan with it, compatible with the AM5 platform. And it's for the US retailers or the US customers. It goes for $180. And when it comes to the performance numbers, it's not good at all. An i5-13400F from a previous gen Intel CPUs is faster than this CPU by a mile. And it's actually faster and it's got, you know, more core count and more threads. So it's not a good choice in my opinion, because basically if you decided to pay an extra $20 more premium, you get the Ryzen 5 7600 and you get all the glorious performance or all the glorious value for money. So yeah, the Ryzen 5 8400F is a no-go. It's a CPU that doesn't have an integrated GPU. Actually, it doesn't have any in it just to the cake or uh, the two best cpus actually or the two fastest cpus because they are actually identical we have the ryzen 5 7500f and the ryzen 5 7600 now the basically the way or why you decided to go with the ryzen 5 7500f over the 7600 because it's cheaper and you don't need the integrated gpu this is a cpu only but it performs like a beast for 130 to 140 dollars you are getting the best value for money performance cpu in the market right now you can compare it to anything in terms of performance per dollar you can never beat that it goes for 140 dollars it's got six scores and 12 threads and as you can see from the benchmarks it's actually the same performance the same identical performance of the ryzen 5 7600 so this is the cpu to go to for your budget pc now you only have to get it from aliexpress so you can you know you'll have to wait a week if you are in the os to get the cpu in your place but other than that there isn't anything that actually is a disadvantage or a con for this cpu in my opinion basically the r5 7600 is the same cpu but it's got a really weak integrated gpu in case anything went wrong with your pc or you know you wanted to log into bios just without a gpu yet this is the only, uh, I think, usable stuff for the integrated GPU of the Ryzen 5 7600. It's not for gaming, it's not for even web browsing. It can be okay for web browsing, of course. It goes for $200, and I feel like this is an overpriced, you know, uh, value for this CPU. But you are getting a box, you are getting a cooler, and you are getting the integrated GPU that's not actually usable when it comes to AMD CPU. So the bottom line is the Ryzen 5 8400F and the Ryzen 5 8500G are a trap. Trap of the CPUs, you should never get them. While the 7500F is the more value one, this is the best value for money CPU in the market, the whole market compared to anything it throws punches you know and the ryzen 5 7600 is the same but for more money and an included cooler that's not that good and an integrated gpu so i'll leave that to you and yeah that's been it if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see more videos that can subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace